We're going back to Esfahan this week to the city of Najafabad. A few weeks ago on this program, Behruz Najafi showed you around town. You can watch that feature in case you missed it on our Facebook page at Iran Press TV, and you can also leave your comments about it. But this week, Behruz wants to show you some of Najafabad's cultural heritage sites. خانه تاریخی مهرپرور موزه مردم شناسی نجف آباد در عرصه 365 متری قرار گرفته گسترش دور انصار مقدس آب دو باغچه قرینه در طرف این به نماد فردوس یا بهشت برین و دو جبهه شمالی و جنوبی خانه قدمت خانه متعلق به اواخر دوره قاجار اوائل پهلوی اول The museum showcases a variety of metal items, especially knives, locks, padlocks, and cutting tools that have a reputation in the country. Okay, I found another interesting place in the museum. Let's go check it out together. This way. Well, this is how the people used to live in this part of Iran 120, 30 years ago. It just has this special air, you know. You see the way they live, the things they use. The old man sitting here had a traditional heater called Korsi in Farsi, reading a book, having some edibles in front of him. That's the way they used to live years ago. And also the old woman working at the spinning wheel. Feel just, you know, great, takes you back in history. <laughs> معرفی و حفظ و نگهداری مشاغل سنتی و ثبت ملی شده نجف آباده از سمت راست به ترتیب کلاه مالی که به نمد مالی هم مستلح هست پیکره بعدی نمایشگر لوده بافی که لوده سبدهای ارغوان بافیه که در اصطلاح محلی بهش لوده گفته میشه و آخرین پیکره هم پیکره چاقوساز هست Agriculture has been the main means of subsistence for the people in this region since ages ago. That is why a fair and equal distribution of water in the past has been of the essence. Here's a simple way in which irrigation water used to be distributed in the past. Aflati includes seven locks or gates, some of which would open and some others would shut, while dividing the water in farms and gardens at certain times of the day. And here's another method that farmers used in order to make sure gardens and farms received the amount of water they had to receive based on their shares. It's called Pengkhane. It's a small structure with four columns and a small dome, closed from three sides with a small pool of water in the middle. قدیمی ترین ساعت و ظرف پیمایش مقدار مصرف آب در باغات و کشاورزی قدیم The person in charge of distribution would put the pink or the metal bowl in the pool After it was filled with water through a small hole and got submerged he would take it out, empty it and put it back in the pool This was repeated based on the number of the gardeners or farmers share of the water آثار تاریخی مثل اثارخانه ها را داره که می توان گفت در این خصوص با وجود یک اثارخانه قدیمی و بزرگ جایگاه منحصر به فردی است که به استان و به کشور معرفی بکنه Here we are at an old structure in this part of the country called اثارخانه اثارخانه meaning a place to extract oil from different kinds of plants 
Now what you see, this rotating stone turning is one part of the process for the extraction of oil. Najafabad, among other things, is famous for a number of oil extraction houses or asarkhane. This is where oil from plants and seeds were extracted in the past. There was a hot house where seeds were cleaned and toasted. Seeds such as sesame, cotton seeds, poppy, sunflower, castor, etc. The huge grindstone was turned by a blindfolded camel. The flour later found its way to another part of the asarkhane where it was mixed with water and turned into paste. Next, the paste was placed in cylindrical containers. Under hard pressure applied by two heavy timbers, the paste would yield oil that would flow into special ducts leading to a storage pot. Behruz Najafi, 41.